CIETNCERT presents the audio book Our Wondrous World Textbook of EVS for class 3 page 62 chapter 5 plants and animals live together in chapter 4 we saw lots of plants have you noticed that where there are plants there are animals too look carefully and you will find that there are lots of animals living on around and even underneath the plants that you see here there is a picture of a jungle on this page there is a river flowing and lots of animals are gathered around including leopard wild buffalo colorful birds butterflies frogs tortoise squirrel and deer a monkey is sitting on a huge tree page 63 Here are some pictures of animals living together with plants. Which of these animals do you recognize from the pictures? Which of them have you seen before? Which of these animals live under the ground? Picture 1, elephants feeding on grass. Picture 2, a moth resting on a leaf. Picture 3, a caterpillar chewing a leaf. 4, earthworms on leaves and soil. Picture 5, a tailor bird singing picture 6 a woodpecker on a tree trunk picture 7 ants building their nest using leaves picture 8 a colorful stink bug on a leaf picture 9 a frog resting on a leaf picture 10 a butterfly perched on a leaf picture 11 squirrels using tree hollows to hide and rest picture 12 a babbit using a tree hollow for nesting page 64 discuss which of the animals given on page 63 have you seen before describe where and how you saw them use your fingers hands and arms to show how small or big these animals are find out Why do these animals choose to live near plants? Life in the soil. Stand on the soil next to a plant. If you are comfortable, remove your footwear. What color is the soil under your feet? There are pictures of 8 types of soils here. They have different colors and different textures. Activity 1. Pick up a little soil near your plant friend with your hands. A how does it look and feel B is it dry damp rough smooth hard or grainy did you find any leaves or insects in the soil D now smell this soil and remember it tick the correct option my soil felt rough dash smooth dash hard dash grainy dash my soil had nothing dash leaves dash small stones dash insects dash page 65 repeat the above activity a day after it rains remember to pick up the soil from the same place did you find any differences in the look feel and smell of the soil pick up a little soil from another place far away from any plants is it different from the soil that you collected earlier in what ways on the right side of this paragraph we see a colorful picture of a girl taking sample of the soil examine the soil more carefully what small things do you notice in it soil is the topmost layer of the earth's surface Soil is made from rocks that have broken up into tiny pieces as well as old leaves, roots, stems and living and dead animals like insects. Soil has many insects and other creatures living in it. Some you can see and some are too small to see. On the top layer of soil and moving around between the grass and leaves, you might find insects like ants, termites, small beetles and grasshoppers there is a picture of a small area of a jungle here we have lots of insects like caterpillar snake ants snail beetle spider 
etc. Page 66 When it rains and the soil is wet, other creatures like earthworms and millipedes may appear too. You may also find more grasses and other plants growing in the soil. Discuss In the monsoons, you may find many more plants and animals around. Where did these new plants and animals come from? Why could you not see them earlier? Activity 2 Stand near your plant friend and look around. How many different animals can you spot? Describe them in words and fill in the table. You may use the given pictures if needed. Column 1 I saw Describe Column 2 It was on Column 3 What was it doing? For example, I saw a small hopping insect. It was on the grass. What was it doing? Jumping around. I saw a thin plant that curls. It was on another plant nearby. What was it doing? Nothing. I saw a black bird. It was on dash. What was it doing? Dash. Now fill the blank spaces given. Here are five pictures given for your reference. Picture of red bugs on a rotting fruit. Picture of a blue flying insect. Picture of ants on leaves. Picture of butterfly on lantana flowers. Picture of a lizard on a rock. Note to the teacher. Some insects wait for the rains to emerge from the soil. Seeds of plants may remain in the soil for long periods and sprout when it rains or they are watered. Page 67 Do you know? Animals, birds and insects use different parts of plants for food, shelter and resting. A picture of two camels eating leaves of the plants is given here. The picture of the owl in its tree nest is given here. Picture of the squirrel and the crow building the nest is given here. A monkey eating a banana on a tree. The picture of the monkey eating a banana on a tree is given here. Sunbirds and butterflies drink nectar from different flowers. The picture of the sunbird sucking the nectar and the butterfly on the flowers is given here. The picture of the tailor bird stitching its nest is given here. The picture of the bats hanging upside down and a leopard sitting on a tree branch is given here. Caterpillars munch on different leaves of plants for food. The picture of a caterpillar on a big leaf is given here. Page 68 How many of these animals have you seen? Watch out for them. Activity 3 Sounds of Birds A. Close your eyes and try to listen to the sounds of birds. Do you hear any bird sounds? Can you see which birds are making these sounds? B. Cup your ears with your hands as in the picture and point your face towards the direction of the bird sound and point your face towards the direction of the bird sound. Can you hear the sound more clearly? There is a picture at the end of this page where... A boy is trying to listen to the bird's sound with his eyes closed. Page 69 Different birds, different sounds A. Recall the bird sounds you have listened to. Try to produce the sounds that different birds make. B. Now try to write down in the following table the sound of any birds you have heard. Column 1. Name of the bird Column 2. Sound made. For example, name of the bird, pigeon. Sound made, gutar goon. Now, you fill the name of the birds and the sound made by them in the space provided. C. If you do not hear any sounds of birds, what do you think is the reason? D. Do you hear more bird sounds? In the early morning? In the afternoon? In the evening, there is a picture at the end of this page 
where there are many birds singing sitting on the branches of the trees page 69 page 70 let us reflect a discuss 1 what was the color and texture of the two soil specimens that you collected during the previous activity in which month did you pick them up did they smell different and can you describe the smells 2 During which month did fresh new leaves appear on the plant that you were observing? 3. Which animals, birds and insects did you notice around plants? 4. Recall and write about how animals, birds and insects rely on plants. Which one was your favorite example? 5. What is soil made up of? B. Write Names of two animals that you observed near or on plants. Dash dash. Describe the shape, size, and colors of these animals. Dash dash. Guess why these animals were staying near these plants. Dash dash. Things did you notice about these animals? Dash dash. Page seventy one. C. Draw. Remember you wrote about your plant friend now try and draw your plant friend use different colored small dots in your drawing to show the places where you spotted animals birds or insects d put in order one day suma found a caterpillar on a tagger plant she found it interesting she observed it for about 10 minutes it was eating tender leaves continuously her mother came close to her she guided her to observe the caterpillar each day suma became more curious consult an elder person and organize the following changes in order now it was a butterfly the caterpillar formed a cocoon it flew away gently one day it stopped eating it came out of the cocoon there is a small box given before every sentence for you to put these in the correct order chapter 5 ends here our wondrous world you were just listening to this audiobook textbook of ebs for class 3 narration richa sayal technical coordination bati langlingdo sound recordist virendra rawat assistance in production kusum lata directed and produced by vimalesh choudhary this audio book is presented to you by c i e t n c e r t new delhi india